man. Oh, oh, man. Yeah. Oh, fuck, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. Every time the more I hear that joke, it gets better. Oh, give it up for yourselves, guys. That was dope. All right. Congratulations. I am now filming my Taco Bell comedy tour. <laughs> starting starting right now. This joke is brought to you by the Chicken Cordia. Uh, I was at Starbucks, and I'm in line at Starbucks, and everything's going good. I'm in line. A guy approaches me at Starbucks, and I look over, and for some reason, it's a weird situation, because I'm making eye contact with him, and the light hits him like in his hair. I don't know why I call it lustrous. He had very lustrous long hair. And we make, <laughs> we make eye contact, and as we make eye contact, I notice that he has whipped cream on his lip, right? Shouldn't be a big deal, should've been fine. But as he notices me, noticing him making eye contact, he decides to lick that whipped cream off his lip. <laughs> And I had to leave the Starbucks. Uh, it wasn't like, it was the only situation I thought. It wasn't like a homophobic thing. It was a commitment issue. Uh, I just think that's the only situation I can move after. One more thing I do that I shouldn't do anymore. I use the black card too much every time. <laughs> Especially at the university, at my job, whatever I do, I use the black card. My favorite thing to do is every time somebody's done something, I'm like, yo, that's black on black crime, man. That's fucked up. You shouldn't do that. But another thing I do is I try to shorten everything. I make everything like an acronym to sound cooler. And uh, so this morning I'm in my job and I say something, boss is like, Bear, you're five minutes late. And I'm like, yo, that's some B-O-B-C bullshit, man. <laughs> to my boss, who's a very openly homosexual African-American man. And he just slowly turns to me and he goes, that's not how you get this raise, Barry. And I'm just like, <laughs> being myself, I'm like, so what the fuck I gotta do then? <laughs> <laughs> what I gotta do to get this raised, bro. Um, let's see. I am a fan of shooting games, a fan of video games. I just got an Xbox. I just got set up on the on the Fortnites and the Call of Duties, and everything's dope and it's amazing. Nice. Only thing is, thanks, Roberto. That means a lot. <laughs> Give it up for Roberto. He's been on the ones and twos all night. I really appreciate him. Woo! I need I need all the feedback I can get. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> But yeah, so I'm all set up on the shooting games and stuff, the, the Fortnites and the Call of Duties. The only things my friends will not let me play anymore, because apparently I play too realistic. Um, when I say that, like what happens, we start playing, everything starts going to shit, people start shooting, people start dying, I go do my thing. After a few minutes, I'm like, Barry, where are you in the game? We see you're still alive, that's pretty good. I'm like, I'm in a closet. Um, <laughs> like, what do you mean you're in a closet? I'm like, well, people were shooting. I went to a house, found an empty house, empty closet, closet door was open, went into the closet, closed the closet, locked the door, and now I'm sitting next to these Christmas presents. Uh, <laughs> like, I'm very go out and do something, go out and make something happen. I'm like, that's, that's dumb. I have one gun, they have like seven guns. It makes no sense for me to be out there. <laughs> but I wish if they value different things on the, the games, I will be way, way good at it. Like, the games usually end and they're like, oh, you have so many kills, so many assists. But like all my highlights, all my replays, are just me like running away. <laughs> Dude, did you see me jump over that garbage can and like knock it behind me, and the, and the guy tripped over it? That was like the best. Like my most favorite highlight I've ever had is one time of a dude. I'm like, yo, you saw that guy jump over that boulder? I was that boulder. <laughs> I got a camouflage sheet. I just laid there the whole time. He just they, they were just jumping all over me. Like, hey, why didn't you shoot him? I'm like, do you not understand how hide and go seat works? It's not. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't help that my go-to move every time, like I overreact a lot. I over, I'm very uh, skittish in person, and it's worse in a video game. So anytime, <laughs> like my my go-to move in the video game, anytime somebody starts shooting at me, I'm like, oh snap, I'm dead. I should throw a grenade, kill myself and everybody around me. <laughs> now that I say that, I'm like, wow, I am a video game suicide bomber. That's <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do a couple more out of here. It's late. We all want to go home. Um, uh, just again, always, you know, uh, support your local Taco Bell, chicken gourdier, you can have five ninety nine bucks. It comes, it comes with cinnamon twists and uh, two uh, crunchy tacos. You can have that however you want it. You have meat on it, meat off of it, lettuce and tomatoes. Uh, also, the very famous Baja Blast. Uh, it's brought to you by the Taco Bell Comedy Tour by Barry Hill. Uh, it's 
Charlie's that Taco Bell money. That Taco Bell. What ever happened to the Chihuahua? The short, <laughs> they have short lifespans. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. We have students in the audience, of course. Yeah. Um, one of my favorite things about every time uh, on a college locally, when there's a crime committed by a college locally, the local police department sends out alerts like via email and text message, and it's. I like it because it tells me how to dress in the morning. Like it really tells me. How to, like I'll wake up and I'm like, all right, so and so in blue shirt, Rob's liquor store, and I'm just like in my closet, like, okay, gonna wear a white today, and I do what I say. Um, sometimes they give me those. Sometimes they'll phone me up, like, so and so in blue shirt and glasses, Rob's liquor store, and I'm like, fuck. Uh, I'll be blind, but I'll be free. Like I <laughs> just kind of take it off. Um, but my thing though, sometimes like the UF alerts that they send doesn't always go the way it's supposed to go. Like uh, one time, like last week, summer time frame. Yeah, you say it. You know what I'm talking about. Like, you'll get like you'll get alert like oh, uh, armed suspect on 34th Street. Be be aware. Be large. And then be like oh, they're on top of this. I feel safe. Until like the next message, they text you, suspect uh, area is secure. Suspect is at large. And you're like. Uh, I get up, they're really busy tonight. Um, you know, a lot of people don't know um, after you know their shift, a lot of firefighters like go to Taco Bell, get a uh, chicken burger. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. uh, all right, all right. <laughs> Take it easy, man. <laughs> He's pretty energetic. He must have had a Baja blast before he sat. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is going well. All right, I'm trying to change my life, trying to be better. Um, one of the things I'm doing is I'm going to less parties. Because every time I go to a party, like some shit always goes down. Some shit always happens that I can't like control. Like one time, last whatever time frame you guys are cool with, like two weeks ago, two months ago. <laughs> I was leaving a party and it was a situation where my female friend was driving and it was like, yo, if you're too drunk to drive, I can totally drive home. Like, don't worry about it. It's cool. And she just goes, oh, I'm cool. I'm fine. Like, she's like stumbling. She's like, I can fucking drive. And like, so I toss her the keys and like she misses them and they hit the fishbowl behind her, kills a goldfish. And I'm just like, okay, you look good. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Let's hop in the car and go. So we're going home. Uh, she's swerving like on the wrong side of the street, you know, dodging cars, going on the wrong side of the traffic. We were going to make it, okay? We were going to get there. When all of a sudden I noticed driving behind me, there is a police car slowly driving behind us. I guess just making sure we get there okay, make sure that we're... I don't know, I'm just used to getting like profile, pulled over, arrest. You've seen, you've seen TV. And uh, so... The thing that pissed me off, right? So I notice the police car slowly drive behind us, and then she notices the police car slowly drive behind us, and I don't know what you guys learned in your driver's ed class growing up, but apparently what she learned was that when you're super drunk, driving, swerving all over the road, on the wrong side of the road, hit almost hitting other cars, the obvious solution when you notice a police car drive behind you is to turn your headlights off. <laughs> Because, of course, the police, he's like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> he's like, where did they go? <laughs> he's like, this happens every goddamn week. He's like, was that a, was that a fucking DeLorean? <laughs> and the thing that pissed me off, like, she cut the headlights off, like, went over me, like, lost them. High five. I was like, <laughs> turn, turn the music up, Cardi B. Like, it was, it was crazy. Uh, spoiler alert, and she did get pulled over. Um, it was either that mailbox or the homeless person she hit. Uh, <laughs> and the DUI report went like this. It was a medium height, short female, and a mysteriously open passenger side door. <laughs> Thank you guys, that's my time. Yeah. It's been good. Thank you. 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 Thank you.